Hello, my producers, and welcome to Soul Horoscope's weekly update. I'm your host to the universe, Christopher Watecki. And pardon my dust, I've been away for two weeks working on this new horoscope edition. This is our latest version, probably the sixth one I've done. This one is all based on from desktop to desktop. I am live on my webcam. The new SG Neptune coming up around the corner is all about made for the viewers, by the viewers. We're all on webcam, office hours, and so I'm joining the party now and downplaying my video except for my pretty graphics, of course. Now, while I was off the air, if you don't know, the Act 3 videos are available for immediate download where I get very deep in about 20 minutes, in some cases, on how to get through the Saturn and Libra transit. And that, if you don't know, is how to get through the next decade with success. This video is for Tauruses and Taurus Risings, and I even have a rising portion at the end where I get a little deeper for those who have Taurus Rising. So check it out. It's for immediate download right now at soulmart.me. Well, we are working on the I love state of awareness, and for Tauruses, that is their castle. It means it's time to love yourself, uh, and we've been working on it really for almost four weeks, so we're wrapping it up this week. This is our connection really to the green light, the I love energy, the heart chakra energy. And for Tauruses, your ability to connect to love is directly proportionate to your ability to self-nurture and love yourself. Literally, Tauruses can love endlessly and manifest endlessly if they have some sort of personal emotional support network meaning in within themselves to support and take care of your own feelings when you take care of your feelings you can do anything you want in the world you can be anywhere you want in the world also when you take care of your feelings you can channel love love is one of the necessary ingredients to manifestation and so this month Tauruses are working on two things their ability to channel and bring love in and secondly their ability to nurture themselves which are exclusive right indeed so as we begin on monday it is sunny and rather pensive the moon is in cancer so emotions are actually focused on thoughts and thoughts are focused on emotions it's also love fest day this is the day where we're going to so, uh, supposedly be feeling the love but i'm not sure if we're going to feel it so much on monday due to all the other things that are going on in the universe now nonetheless you will be pensive and pulled into your mind that's part of all uh, of the festival the moon crosses over venus is what's happening and when that happens uh, we expand our ability to receive. So Tauruses will open up to receiving uh, new information, open up to a new attitude, open up to maybe a new response uh, to a certain uh, bad news or good news, who knows how it goes, but it's time to open up. Now, because you're having to open up in an area that's not so much fun, uh, you may not necessarily receive the love and that may not be part of the day. But another thing that's happening the same day, kind of spoiling the love fest, is Saturn. You see, Saturn and Mars have come together, which means we must now move forward on the Saturn and Libra transit. All right. What this means is Tauruses must progress and take action in rebalancing their lifestyle. You no longer have any time to balance your lifestyle. If you have not balanced your lifestyle, things will start to fall apart. This is how you live in your body. This is your health. This is work between home. This is play between society. It's all the above. And basically, starting on Monday, uh, things fall apart in your lifestyle right away. Things get very serious in your health. Things get very serious at work uh, because Mars on Saturn is saying, chop, chop, we're out of time. Now, Jupiter rules Love Fest Day. So the whole day is about expanding. In your case, having to expand your own self-nurturing. So again, you might have to uh, expand and be open and more gentle in your thoughts and you might have to expand and be more loving and gentle with your own emotions you may feel like a baby but who cares that's what you need to do is take better care of you that's what's all about this month so that is uh, the fun of monday then on tuesday things uh, may go sour may go well cloudy chance of mind games for the tauruses that's because uranus rules the day so if you have not been self-nurturing you're going to find breakdown you might have to innovate and break through and respond to yourself emotionally differently now all this may play out in the in the mind uh, because 
the moon is still in Cancer, putting emotion and intellect into a co-triggering kind of uh, partnership on Tuesday. So Uranus is about breakdown in your ability to emotionally support yourself, and that might happen first in the mind. Adding pressure is this opposition between Pluto and Venus. Now for you, Bull, this is an opposition between beliefs and an open mind. Venus is an open mind. So literally, in some ways, you need to open your mind more. In some ways, you need to rethink what you believe and be less stubborn. You will find a balance between these two, and you will also find that these two uh, correlate to your overall sense of groundedness and self-nurturing. So in other words, one of the reasons why you may not feel nurtured is because your mind is always fighting with your belief structure. Look for that also uh, as a possibility. Alrighty. Then on Wednesday, it is pensive, it is cloudy, Mercury rules a day, but you're starting to nest. That's because the moon now moves into Leo and begins its countdown to Light Cast Day, which will be Friday, the new moon. Wednesday, you're kind of breaking through, trying to understand uh, exactly what it is that might be holding you back in your self nurturing. And you're starting to feel this as well. You can see this conglomerate of planets here. As the moon, I'm going to come up here, as the moon enters into. Uh, into Leo, it crosses over Mercury. And notice how Mercury is at the beginning of Leo and the Sun is at the end of Leo. I'm getting my mirror images here. The point is, our I love, or where we call reality, is way up in Leo, but our thoughts are way back in Leo. And what that does is give you this broadband perspective. So as the moon crosses over Mercury, your emotions will have to uh, resolve with what you're letting go when it comes to old self-nurturing, old inner child issues, old lack of a mother, old, you know, whatever. Whatever kind of mommy, home, family issues that you need to let go of and grow up, that's the first thing you let go of. What the planets say is, by letting go of that with Mercury, you then can move ahead on the sun portion of it and see the light, literally, as far as what you need to feel super good in your own body and in your own life and what you need to dedicate to. So Wednesday is kind of a, uh, is a cloudy day. It's a pensive day. It's an introverted day. Lots of things happening in just people's personal lives. Uh, but I think for you, you're really starting to um, break through in what you need. Now, Thursday is a nesting day in a real literal way. You probably need to nest and rest on Thursday. Venus rules the day. And so that means we're going to restore balance and order. So after getting it, now you move forward to restore that balance and order uh, on Thursday. Um, the planets are where it's all at. We are literally on countdown. So as the moon crosses over Mercury, it releases the past, and then the moon bridges to the sun and bridges to the future. That's what we're seeing here is this bridge, this pendulum swing on Thursday. This pendulum swinging from the moon to, to the sun uh, is your ability to restore balance and order to your own emotional nurturing. What does that mean in practical terms, Christopher? It means that you now, after you kick the roommate out, you find balance and order. Uh, now that you've decided you're going to take care of you, you go out and buy new sheets or buy something for yourself to nurture yourself more. Maybe it's that you give yourself a bath. But if you have any kind of problems, you need to uh, innovate your emotional response to you. If the old you would kick and scream, the new you needs to soothe. Do a new emotional response to whatever it is you don't emotionally want to deal with, and that is where you will find your lesson. Then we get to Friday. Now, Friday is a cloudy day, and it is light cast day, the most powerful day of the month to put our intentions out there in the universe. The moon is on top of the sun. That's literally what it means. Uh, and so as a result, we have a powerful connection. The moon is our emotions. The sun is what we love. So you're loving it and you're feeling it. And what Tauruses are loving and feeling is the new foundation, the new home, the new castle, uh, the new inner mother. Okay, this is you and the way you're going to take, your, take care of yourself no matter what, a dedication to loving yourself. And when Tauruses love themselves, they have unlimited access to universal love. So this is the dedication in your heart to this. And what do you use as a barometer or what do you use to connect? Use Neptune. Neptune rules the day. So use your senses, fill your heart with love, and connect. Now, for those of you watched over by the Guardian Agency, we'll be sending out a special video, a text, uh, a link to the video and a password that will guide you through uh, the light casting ceremony. And this is a gift for being a, a member of GA. I'm going to start creating a lot of videos just for GA members. So if you all want to join, it's only $4.95 a week and it's part of me being much more there uh, for everyone. Okay, so that is what we're doing on Friday. It's going to be Love Fest Day.
a light cast day of what we love. That's what it is. Then on Saturn Day, it's time to get serious. We dedicate. The moon moves into Virgo, so the Tauruses are going to feel their inner child come online. I think you'll be childlike. I think you'll be fun. And what makes you fun is that you have now committed to a self-nurturing, a home family foundation. That commitment makes your child feel safe so it can come out and play. So you will be on a creative pursuit, you'll be on a love pursuit, you'll be on a romance pursuit. What you're feeling is a foreshadow of the next transit, incidentally, that we're about to begin, and you are feeling it. So make sure you follow through with what you've learned and take care of yourself. There's some other revelations that Saturday gives us as well with the planets and a trine between Uranus in Aries and that lower Mercury in Leo. So Mercury in Leo, which is focused on letting go of the old family or the old self-nurturing or the old boohoo story or the old ignoring of your emotions, Mercury's letting go of that stuff. And what this says is every time you let go, you, can, uh, you progress with inner faith. That's what Uranus is doing. You are having higher faith. You are having greater faith in yourself. And who knew that your faith was blocked because you were holding on to old emotional drama? or a lack of stepping up for yourself. So Saturday is a powerful day. Again, a private and powerful day. Sunday is a, a fun day, I think, for the Tauruses. Sunny and childlike or playful and creative. The moon is way into Virgo, and you're feeling amped up. That's because Mars rules the day. When Mars rules the day, it's time to act on your decisions. So put into action whatever you dedicated to yourself uh, on Lightcast Day. Go ahead and take that step up. Pamper yourself. Give yourself the life uh, that you deserve, and be there for yourself. That's what it's all about. And it's all happening between the moon focused on inner child and the sun focused on the castle and the self nurturing so on Sunday if you want your magic to work if you want to have this uh, this nest that will lay the golden egg next month with the Sun in Virgo then do something for yourself on Sunday put in action Taurus you know better than anyone how to manifest alrighty bull that's all I have for this new edition thanks so much for your patience as I was getting these out and I hope to be back on Monday on time because I've got a smooth production process good luck follow your heart have a good light cast day and live love be Oh,